Hey, what is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and with the temperatures cooling down now and winter approaching, it's going to be very important that you take care of your home. As you know, you should make sure that you have the water turned off so the pipes don't freeze and burst and you should have proper heating and all of that good stuff. But one of the big problems that a lot of people do not realize is animal infestation. Animals want to find somewhere cold to hang out and this includes all types of creatures everywhere from raccoons to snakes and even small critters like spiders they're all going to need a place that is a little bit warmer so that way they can survive through the winter so in this little bit of content right here we're going to share with you some of the creatures which you should take out take a look for and then some of the warning signs that an animal might be infesting your home and then what you should do in the event that a wildlife creature does infest your home now before we go into all of this why is it important to make sure that these creatures do not infest your home well Besides the obvious of it just kind of being creepy and gross to have a raccoon hanging around your attic or spiders crawling around in between the walls, it's very important that you don't let these creatures infest your home because it can attract all kinds of diseases into your home. We've had clients, for example, where they think that they have allergies, like they just have red eyes, they're always itchy and they have a runny nose and all this stuff. We go into their home and then for example, they'll have like a mice problem or some wild creature problem or whatever. And then what we do is we remove the wild creatures and we restore the damage that was caused by it. And then within about a month, usually all of the allergy like symptoms disappear. And the clients are always like, whoa, what happened? Suddenly I'm feeling so much better, I'm so healthy. And the reason why this happens is because first of all, these creatures do not have a proper funeral process like us humans. You know, if a wild mouse dies in the attic, the other mice don't really care. They're just gonna keep doing their thing. They're not really going to remove that other dead mouse. It's just kind of going to decay there. Now, it gets even more gross, so I hope you're not eating anything and I hope I didn't kill your appetite, but it gets even worse. You see, they also don't go to the toilet. When a wild mouse or raccoon or whatever has to go to the toilet, they're not gonna go and sneak down into your bathroom, plop over the toilet, and flush the toilet afterwards. They're hanging out in the attic, and these are truly wild creatures. They don't care if they're sleeping in their poop and pee, they're just gonna go right there. Now, what happens is this decays into the walls, it decays into the attic, it decays into wherever these wild creatures are hanging out, but more importantly, it decays into the air. So let's say you have some wild raccoons hanging around the attic and they all are kind of pooping up there. Well, that poop is going to decay into the air and it's going to get sucked into the air vent. So actually the, the air quality of the home is going to get greatly reduced if you have wild creatures hanging around in your home. If you have something like insects, this is also kind of obvious why it could be a problem. Anytime you leave something out in the kitchen, you're suddenly going to have a massive insect problem. They can chew through wood, they can damage the property. All around, it's not a pleasant experience. So now that we know why it's dangerous, and there are so many other reasons, but these are some of the big ones which our clients experience, now that we know that this is a problem, what can we do to prevent it? And what is actually going on here? Well, as I mentioned earlier, wild creatures need a place to hang out during the winter. A lot of insects, what they will do is they actually bury themselves in the ground or they will bury themselves under a rock or basically anywhere warm. And then they'll enter a kind of dormant state during the winter and this is how they're able to properly survive. And then of course when it heats back up, they're able to move again. Ant colonies will kind of steal off their colonies and they'll just kind of freeze up over the winter. But then some insects like bees and wasps, they will actually kind of stay slightly active. So they will slow down a little bit, but they will stay slightly active. So all of these insects, for example, they can do this in the ground, they can do this in the forest, they can do it wherever, or there's this really amazing thing called a human home which they can go into, and in these human homes, they're not gonna have to worry about getting stepped on, or the environment changing, or you know anything happening, like a, a bird maybe seeing them asleep, and 
You know, some of the animals will actually eat insects. For example, the skunk will dig into the ground searching for insects to eat. Well, if an insect has buried itself in the ground, there's a fair probability that another animal could go eat it or that something could go wrong. Whereas if they bury themselves in the attic or they hide in between the walls, it's going to be very unlikely that another wild creature is going to find them and kill them. So a lot of insects could be hanging around, lying dormant inside of your home, and this creates insect problems in the summer. So if you've ever had an insect problem in the spring or the summer, it might not actually have been caused during the summer, but it could have been the result of the previous year in which insects were looking around for a place to hang out during the winter, and then they found your home, they snuck in via a hole, they became dormant, and then as soon as springtime, summertime came around, they actually maybe made babies inside of your home, and that's why you had an insect problem. So what happens with animals is kind of the same. Some of them, like snakes, they will enter a state called brumation. So this is kind of like hibernation in the sense that they're for the most part asleep. But sometimes snakes will wake up when it's a particularly warm and sunny winter day. So sometimes they'll be slightly active, but for the most part, not so much. And then same for many other types of wild animals as well, like squirrels, raccoons, possums, and stuff like this. All wild creatures are pretty much going to be less active in the winter, though they are going to be slightly active. So same thing though, which happens for them. They're looking for a nice warm place to hang out. They can do this in a tree trunk. They can do this in a forest where it's very well possible that it'll get too cold for them or they might have to deal with predators or something like that. Or they can do it inside of your home. And if they do it inside of your home, what's probably going to happen is they're going to want to make babies. For both raccoons and skunks, and in fact most small animals like this, they're going to have their babies in the springtime. And the reason for this is because their kits are going to be able to grow up rather quickly. So they give birth in the late winter slash early spring, and then they're going to grow up, they're going to take care of them during the summertime when food is in abundance, when it's safer, when it's warmer, all of this stuff. And then those kits are going to be ready to kind of chill out and take care of themselves during the next winter period. So again, the problem becomes if you let these wild creatures get inside of your home, in the winter and fall, you're probably not even going to really realize that there's a problem. You're not gonna notice that there's a problem until the springtime or summertime. Now, of course, sometimes you will realize that there's a problem. However, like we said, these creatures are going to be generally less active. So when it's summertime, they're gonna be having babies. They're gonna be going out hunting, doing things, having fun, exploring the world. But when it's winter time, they're just kind of like, yo, I'm chilled out. I need to stay warm. I need to just kind of relax. So you're going to be less likely to realize them. But again, this is why it's critically important to do your investigations into wildlife infesting your home now, because if these wild creatures get into your attic or in between the walls or under your home or infest your home in any way, they are going to have babies in the spring and summertime. And as soon as these creatures get babies, it becomes anywhere from five times to 10 times more difficult to deal with. If it's a single skunk or a single animal, we can make a type of trap to safely remove them and take them out. But if they have kits, they're just going to fight so much more ferociously and understandably so because they just want to take care of their young, they love them, and when you have to deal with all of them, it just becomes a mess of a, ho a whole lot more animals. And you got to think too, when there's more animals, there's going to be more feces, there's going to be a higher chance of death, and so the actual damage done to the property itself is going to be greater. So in short, what happens with both insects and animals is they're just looking for somewhere warmer to hang out during the summertime. And in suburban areas, like a lot of the American cities, they often find ways to get into people's homes because they might have been disconnected from safe nature areas or nature reserves in which they could successfully do this process otherwise. So what do we do now that we know what the problem is and we know how to solve it? Well, make sure that you don't have any strange smells, you don't have any weird sounds, you don't have any holes. It's kind of okay to do an investigation of your own. So take a look around your home, see if there are any wild creatures that are regularly coming in and out. You can see if there's anything in your attic. You can pay attention to if anything is going around in between the walls or something like that. 
it's just really important to kind of pay attention what's going on now because right now in the fall and ultimately any time of the year you're going to want to be on top of this because as soon as you get a wild creature or insect infesting your home the problem becomes exponentially more difficult to deal with like i said earlier if we have a single raccoon that's hanging out in your attic it's pretty easy to remove we just get a guy in there and he puts on some gloves he takes out the raccoon but if if, if we got like eight of them and some kits in there as well they are just going to fight so ferociously because it means that they have marked the attic or your home as their territory. So they are not going to want to leave. They're going to fight so much more viciously and the property damage caused by these creatures is just going to be so much greater. So take a look and inspect your home now. Make sure that there's no problem. And if you do see a problem, give us a call. If you feel like there is any problem or you want to call us for some more information, we would be loving to help you out. So give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or www.wildlifexteam.com. We have several blog posts, videos, podcasts, as well as other content which you can observe and you can actually learn from us a little bit about this wildlife removal stuff. And then like I said, you can contact us contact us on there you can find an office and we can actually get down on the ground and we can help you out at your home so again give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit us at www.wildlifexteam.com be sure to give us a call or send us an email we have live chat on the website as well we would love to help you out and make sure that your home is completely free of these animals and insects now one more thing I want to add on to the end of this right here is that we safely and ethically remove all of these wild animals from your home. So let's say that there's like five raccoons inside of your home. Some people are resistant and they really care about the creatures so they kind of want to handle the problem on their own because they're afraid that some wildlife specialist is just going to go in and kill them. And that's not actually what we do. We take care of the wild creatures. We really love the wild animals. We have all kinds of photos and videos on our social media, which is all Wildlife X Team International, of us taking care of these wild creatures. So if they're injured, we're gonna take care of them. And we always remove these animals safely and ethically, but most importantly, we put them back in a habitat in which they're going to be safe. So we're gonna take them really far away from your home, far enough such so that you won't have to worry about an infestation from these creatures happening again but then these creatures are going to be able to pursue a new life in their new habitat and they're actually gonna be safe. So it's not like we're tossing them downtown where they're probably gonna get run over or killed or you know we're tossing them out in some random field in the middle of nowhere. We're taking these creatures to a safe place so that while you can get benefited, so that while you have a better home, you're healthier, you're cleaner, your property is doing amazing, but then we're also taking care of these wild creatures because at the end of the day, these wild creatures do not want anything to do with you. They actually don't want any problems with you. And so even though there is inherent danger and risk with dealing with these creatures, such as if they get aggressive, they ultimately don't want to start aggressive fights with us, but they're just scared for their own lives. And they really don't understand everything which is going on, like us developing homes and whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed this right here. Again, give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit us at www.wildlifexteam.com and we'll be sure to help you out. As the, temperatures, as the temperatures cool down, excuse me, make sure to take care of yourself and let's hope that we have an awesome winter, everyone. Have a good one. They're out there looking for a home and they found one, yours. They want that cozy place in your attic or under your foundation. Give them enough time and you'll be paying big bucks to fix their damage. Wildlife X Team specializes in removal and prevention of wildlife infestation, responsibly and professionally. Wildlife X Team has earned the top rated award from home advisors because they're experts at what they do. Just one call and they're gone. 855-WILDLIFE or wildlifexteam.com.